Are you tired of brain fog preventing you from working and operating at full capacity in your business? My name is Billy Harris and in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through the hidden causes of brain fog and how we then fix it. Let's dive straight into it. Brain fog, the hidden causes and how to fix it. So first and foremost, what is brain fog? Let's start off this video with an introduction into the topic matter. So inflammation is the number one cause of brain fog that almost every entrepreneur complains about. If you've been sat at your desk for a period of time where you simply can't get your thoughts straight or you simply can't work the capacity you'd like to, you are dealing with brain fog, pretty simple. Inflammation equals your body fighting shit stuff that shouldn't be there and brain fog is gonna result in poor work quality. Okay, when all business is creativity, energy, smarts, and decisions, optimizing yourself to your fullest extent will enable you to see 20% more than your competition, think 20% faster, have 20% more energy, and make critical decisions at crunch time. This is hugely, hugely significant when it comes to the process of scaling your business and optimizing your work capacity to the point where you reach 90% on a daily basis. Brain fog is such a huge, huge topic matter. Brain fog is a collection of symptoms such as forgetfulness, lack of mental clarity, confusion, and inability to focus, I should say focus. It's not a clinical term and is also referred to as mental fog, clouding of consciousness, or cognitive dysfunction, which I'm sure all of you guys have experienced at one point or another. And certainly all the individuals that I work with, initially speaking, have this issue, which they struggle with. So when it comes to operating at full capacity with their work, they simply cannot do so because of brain fog and its inhibitance of that, okay? It is generally caused by inflammation in the brain stemming from some underlying cause. And we're gonna dive straight into that in today's video. So symptoms of brain fog, fatigue and low energy, irritability, inability to concentrate, poor working memory and executive functions, poor ability to memorize things, which is something which is uh, pretty consistent, I see with the individuals who struggle with brain fog, especially in this space, uh, the entrepreneurship space as such, impaired ability to process new information and delayed processing, confusion, low motivation, mental confusion, wandering thoughts, inability to sustain a train of thought and disorientation. All of these variables being hugely significant in terms of holding you back from achieving your business goals and obviously operating at full capacity with your work. So my brain fog cure story. So I've suffered with brain fog as long as I can remember. I started getting into the process of performance and optimizing my performance as such in athletic capacity nonetheless. Uh, at the age of 12 and endeavored to stop eating any food with sugar and ate only whole grains. I thought that was pretty healthy. I thought I was the right way to be going about things when it comes to operating at full capacity, okay? I've always tried to eat as healthy as possible, yet I still had brain fog, particularly when it came to studying or getting into the process of starting my online business. And I didn't know why. I thought I was eating very well. I thought I was eating clean, quote unquote, and thought therefore I shouldn't be struggling with any degree of brain fog. I'd always read about health and performance when I had the time at school or after school, but nothing helped that much at all. After many years of experimentation and research, I finally figured out what caused my brain fog and how to heal it. Having worked with high level entrepreneurs in this space of digital marketing and e-commerce uh, e primarily, I've identified the most common causes of brain fog and I've helped others heal their conditions as well. Brain fog causes. So an imbalanced limbic system. Brain fog is essentially caused by an issue in the area of the brain responsible for executive function, general cognitive function, and emotional balance. This area is called the limbic system. Now, within the limbic system, if we get into a little bit of the science behind this quickly, just for a bit of context, within the limbic system, the hypothalamus, also known as the control center, is most affected, okay? The limbic system is responsible for the following. Wakefulness, appetite, mood, motivation, body warmth, gut flow by the way of the vagus nerve, which I'll talk about later on, metabolism, blood pressure, emotional regulation, executive function, which is in the bracket of emotional control, working memory, cognitive flexibility, etc. Memory, both short and long term. Now the hypothalamus in particular plays a critical role in the following. And if you guys refer back to what I said already, within the limbic system, we have the hypothalamus, which is uh, affected by this issue. Thermal regulation, sweating, wakefulness and fatigue, circadian rhythm dysregulation potentially, thirst, hunger and satiety, blood pressure, heart rate, gut function, emotions, sex drive and hormones, glucose regulation and vision. Okay, so an extremely, extremely important part when it comes to operating at full capacity in terms of our function nonetheless. So symptoms of limbic system problems. The limbic system is responsible for many things. So if you're experiencing brain fog, it will often be paired together with other symptoms such as fatigue, anxiety, depression, insomnia, circadian rhythm issues, which is obviously gonna result in poor quality sleep, which I see across the board when it comes to entrepreneurs, lower motivation, suppressed appetite, and often weight loss, gut problems, including constipation. So if you guys are experiencing these variables in, in correlation with brain fog, 
is pretty common. Okay, and again, all of these issues here that you can see, including fatigue, anxiety, depression, etc., I see them pretty common in terms of this space that they're pretty frequent. I come across them pretty frequently, um, particularly when I come into contact with a new client. And again, these are issues which we have to cope with or deal with, um, and then obviously then fix pretty, pretty quickly when it comes to operating at full capacity with your business, your work and your output. Continued, lower thyroid and sex hormones, lower blood pressure, frequent urination, procrastination, which is the last thing we want to be dealing with, OCD problems, letting go of thoughts, hypoglycemia, which essentially your blood sugar is going like this, spiking up and down, leading to a slump in performance because you've eaten food and then you crash at your desk like this <laughs> and you cannot operate anywhere near at your full capacity. Attention problems, hormonal issues, low libido and sex drive and visual problems. So Due to the complex functions of the limbic system, brain fog is often paired with mood, sleep, hormonal, and metabolic disorders. Again, all of these things we want to rid ourselves of in order to operate at full capacity, both in our business and with our work output, but also just in life in general. Okay, you can have all the money in the world, but if you can't operate at full capacity, you won't be able to further scale your business, but also you'll just feel like absolute shit, okay? Most common brain fog triggers. I've worked with clients that had brain fog from all of the following causes, including myself as well. I've ordered them from most common to least common, and these can cause brain fog either by causing inflammation or by causing long-term changes in the brain. Okay, so let's go through this list from A to B. Lectins and inflammatory agents and plants, anxiety or chronic stress, which is fairly frequent in this space or fairly common in this space, PTSD or a very stressful event. One for myself, for example, would be the loss of my dad uh, from cancer about three months or so ago. So that can contribute to this as well. If you guys are experiencing anything like that or have done, this is really important that you pay attention to. Depression, drug-induced, which is usually including the likes of THC, uh, THC, LSD, MDMA, alcohol. Sleep problems, bad quality or not enough, something which is so, so common in this space in particular, especially with the whole adherence of the grind hard mentality or sleep to your dead in order to optimize your business to scale your business, which is the last thing you should be adhering to or following. You guys should very much work on optimizing your sleep quality, but again, that's a common trigger of brain fog. Infections, toxins, night shift work and circadian disruptions. Again, very common in this space with individuals working to the late hours of the night uh, under really bad quality light sources and as a result of that, experiencing high degrees of brain fog the next day or the next week, next month, next year. Injuries, not enough sun or light, imbalanced hormones, obesity or a terrible diet, very common once again, and lack of exercise. So brain fog treatments, fixes and cures. Let's dive into it. Let's get this fixed up. Get sunlight and fresh air. I cannot stress this enough. Sun is great for decreasing inflammation. Although uncommon, I've had a few cases of brain fog that were relieved simply by being outside and getting more sun. This is something which the majority of individuals, again, in this space do not do enough of. They do not go outside first thing in the morning, nor in the afternoon, nor in the evening prior to sunset. And it's something which I cannot stress enough in terms of the significance of this. Sun is capable of suppressing inflammation and preventing autoimmune disease. People thinking that taking a vitamin D supplement will make up for not getting enough sun is false, is incorrect. Most benefits of the sun don't involve vitamin D. The most beneficial ingredient of the sun is probably not vitamin D, but the infrared that it provides. And I recommend an hour of sun uh, at most on your body. Okay, I personally go outside first thing in the morning, sit on my balcony topless, or I use my red light therapy tool, which is my Juve tool. That's another form of infrared light. Um, and then I also expose myself to natural sunlight in the afternoon and evening time as well. Okay, it's gonna really help you regulate your circadian rhythms as well. Massive contributor. Take care of your sleep and circadian rhythm. The circadian rhythm is deeply connected with inflammation and both can cause the other to get out of balance. Disrupting your circadian rhythm will result in brain fog as happens during jet lag where you guys experience the feeling of, of fatigue, cognitively speaking, and also feeling almost drunk. That's what you guys will experience if you don't regulate your circadian rhythms particularly well. Again, very common in this space. Some people are more sensitive to circadian disruptions and it can come about for a variety of reasons, but the most common are the following. Lack of light during the day, uh, following on from my previous point, too much light at night in terms of awful light sources, like for example, light bulbs in your apartment or in your house, disrupted sleep patterns, so inconsistent sleep start and end times and chronic inflammation. People with brain fog are often wired but tired at night, fatigued in the day and lack a cortisol spike in the AM, lacking that kick to get you out of bed and feeling like you can jump start the day. They can be hot at night and wake up to pee multiple times. These are all symptoms of circadian disruption that I used to have as well and also the majority of my clients. Now I get tired at night and I'm awake in the day. I feel warmer in the day and cooler at night and don't get hypoglycemia at night when my blood sugar spike as well. 
My vasopressin release has normalized so I don't wake up to pee. That's never a difficulty. I know that's a difficulty for a lot of people I come into contact with. Again, most of the individuals that I start working with at first. I wake up refreshed and ready to hit the day when my circadian rhythm is working properly. Hugely, hugely important when it comes to mitigating brain fog and fixing that issue. Exercise. Too much or too little exercise can contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress. I've never had a client whose brain fog was solely related to exercise, but it can be a contributing factor. Moderate exercise brings down inflammation and oxidative stress. Interval exercise is particularly good at this. So hill sprints, for example, bike sprints, rowing sprints, whatever you guys may incorporate as interval work. Yoga is also particularly good because it balances the HPA axis. On the other hand, endurance exercise increases inflammation. So anything like, for example, a 15K run, a half marathon, a bike ride, which may last multiple hours, that's gonna further increase inflammation. But don't confuse endurance exercise with moderate aerobic exercise. Although not as good as interval exercise or yoga, aerobic exercise can decrease inflammation as well. So for example, something a little bit more light or gentle in terms of pace and intensity, but something a little bit longer in duration, like a further extended bike ride, a swim, for example, a gentle run like a five kilometers. They're all perfectly fine. Push-ups, yoga, pull-ups, walking, and uh, sprints are ideal. I should say sprints. Stimulate the vagus nerve. Now, most of you guys wouldn't have heard of this, so let's dive into it. One common theme with people who have brain fog and chronic fatigue is lower vagal tone or vagus nerve activation. Hugely, hugely important. Vagus nerve stimulation increases brain antioxidants and reduces brain fog. So I won't dive into it too much in terms of science behind this, but I'll dive into the ways in which we can tackle stimulating the vagus nerve. Okay, so expose yourself to cold temperatures like a cold shower first thing in the morning. Your fight or flight system declines and your rest and digest system increases, which is meditated by the vagus nerve. Hugely important. According to one study on healthy 18 year olds, singing also increases HRV or heart rate variability, which you can track with your aura ring if you guys do track your metrics, which is associated with relaxation and better stress regulation and also adaptation. Okay, so I was checking one of my client's metrics today, Dan Vass, his HRV was at 99 this morning. That's a great metric reading in terms of being relaxed, dealing with stress very well, and also being able to deal with adaptation and resilience as such. Yoga, meditation, positive thoughts and social connection, deep and slow breathing, laughter, exercise, massages, and fasting. All of these variables can stimulate the vagus nerve, okay, and then further help you deal with brain fog. Supplements and vitamins. These supplements can help get rid of inflammation and oxidative stress and help the limbic system function correctly. Magnesium, zinc, DHA, biturate, CBD oil, curcumin, olive leaf extract, galantamine, and vitamin B6. If you guys have any questions on these supplements in particular, please leave that below in the comment section and I can obviously get back to you as soon as possible as well. Brain fog, the hidden causes and how to fix it in summary. So brain fog or mental fog refers to cognitive impairment caused by brain inflammation. You may have brain fog if you feel forgetful, scattered, confused, unmotivated, irritable, and tired. All of these things being hugely detrimental when it comes to reaching a point of peak performance or full capacity with your work output and operations. Inflammation and oxidative stress cause, uh, cause brain fog by damaging the limbic system, a connected set of brain regions that affect cognition, emotions, and energy levels. Brain fog is common in entrepreneurs with food sensitivities who eat lectins and other pro-inflammatory nutrients, or other, otherwise, in other terms, anti-nutrients. Poor sleep, infections, environmental toxins, drugs, and genetics are also major contributors of brain fog. People with gut issues, mood disorders, autoimmune diseases, and hormonal imbalances are more prone to brain fog, okay? So to overcome brain fog and improve your cognition, get more sunlight, moderate exercise, and quality sleep. Vagus nerve stimulation can also be especially helpful. Magnesium, biturate, zinc, DHA, CBD oil, and curcumin are also very beneficial, as I refer to on this list here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, leave a notification, sorry, a thumbs up, uh, and make sure you drop any comments below in terms of any questions that you have when it comes to dealing with brain fog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.